starting with nuchal translucency what is the correct way of measuring nuchal translucency it must be measured when the crl is between 48 to 84 millimeters the fetus should be in the true sagittal section in a neutral position that means the fetal head should be neither extended nor flexed the head and the upper chest are the only parts that should be seen these are the parts that should cover almost the entire image. The magnification on the screen should be maximum. 75% of the screen should be covered with this image. And when you switch on a caliper and move it, the minimum distance that it measures should be 0.1 millimeters. And it is essential that you take three different values of nuchal translucency and take a mean of this to correctly calculate the risk. It is very important to understand that we are going to measure the translucency, the black part between the occipital bone and the skin overlying. And the skin is not included in the measurement. If I say I'm going to measure this in the true mid sagittal section, how do I know it is a true mid sagittal section? On this section, I must see the nasal tip, the skin of the nose and the nasal bone. I must be seeing the maxilla as a straight line and not as a triangular. This is a thick straight line which may also be called a rectangle. The mandible must be seen only as a dot and not as a line. You will see the diencephalon. And you may also see fluid in the third ventricle between the thalami. And this tells me this is a true mid sagittal section and this is the section in which I must measure the nuchal translucency. This preferably must be supine position of the fetus because if it is prone the occipital bone will cast a shadow on the face and the nasal bone will not be seen. How is the measurement exactly taken? When you are seeing this translucency with the occipital bone on one side and the skin on the other side, your calipers should be so placed that the transverse bar of the caliper should overlap the edge of the hyperechoic line of the occipital bone as well as the edge of the hyperechoic line of the skin. So this only one measurement is the correct measurements. This all are wrong. There are softwares available for automated calculation of the nuchal translucency. And this is quite a reassuring way of correctly measuring the nuchal translucency. But to do that, Getting a correct section of the fetus is absolutely essential. There is no option to that. So much precision is required because the nuchal translucency increases by 0.6 millimeters on extension of the head and decreases by 0.4 millimeters on flexion of the neck. If there is a cord around the neck, there is a false increase in the nuchal translucency measurement by 0.8 millimeters and measurements above and below the cord may be different but increased nuchal translucency has a likelihood ratio of as high as 13 for trisomy 21.